Hi everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing products I own from the Ulla Henriksen range. So if you want to see, keep on watching. I am going to begin with the Pore Balance Facial Sauna Scrub. My skin has already been cleansed. I don't actually have an Ulla Henriksen cleanser, so if you've tried them, let me know how they were down in the comments to see if I need to get one of those. So, this is an 85 gram size. In the UK, Ola Hendrickson is available exclusively from Boots and this costs £22 and is described as innovative facial scrub inspired by traditional Scandinavian spas. A dual warm stroke cool action helps refine pores as powerful blend of AHAs Glycolic and lactic acids help to lift and loosen dead skin cells. Formulated with volcanic sand, green fusion complex and neem seed oil, its deeply purifying action absorbs excess oil and helps effectively unclog and minimise the appearance of pores. The scrub invigorates with a refreshing eucalyptus peppermint scent and the complexion is smooth, soft and refreshed with a healthy ole glow. So let's see if this can get me glowing. Apply to clean, damp skin and gently massage in an upward circular motion. Rinse thoroughly, apply two to three times a week. So, I am just going to dampen my skin again, because I think it dried while I was talking to you. So I've just popped a muslin cloth in some it was warm water when I started filming, but now it's tepid. I'm going to go submerge this in some hot water so I can open up my pores. Be right back. And I'm back with a warm cloth. So this is dampening my skin. Don't know if you can hear me under here. And hopefully opening up my pores since it is a pore balancing scrub. This is what it looks like very interesting you can see that volcanic sand in there which i found to be a really nice exfoliant the gra the grains are really really fine and as soon as you put it on the eucalyptus scent hits you and it does start to feel warm now i'm not sure i'm just gonna get a little bit more I'm not sure what the chemicals are in here that are making my skin feel warm, but I'm sure some would argue that they are unnecessary and a bit gimmicky really and potentially harmful to skin. But I've used this scrub before and I've never had any issues with it and I must admit it's a pleasant sensation and I do think if you don't have sensitive or sensitised skin I'm of the school of thought that kind of fragrance and these sensory elements can actually enhance the skincare application. Obviously, if they give you any trouble, you would skip them. So that's how I'm looking. You can see the fine black volcanic sand granules. They don't give me any trouble. Now, I would usually leave this on for a few minutes to let the AHAs work because I'm also going to be demoing this Paw Plunge mask for you which also has AHAs in. I'm going to rinse this more or less straight off. Don't want to overdo the AHAs. Anyone else that has done that will tell you that it is not a good time. So I'm using my muslin cloth again to just remove this and again it kind of feels a bit cool as you remove it now these black scrubbies are trying to cling to my skin they don't really want to go but you have to go guys it's time for the next part of my little home facial okay i'll just get rid of these last hangers on okay that'll do do i have an ole glow not sure to be honest 
My skin does look a little bit red, but I think that's from me scrubbing to try and get rid of those granules. So next we have the Cold Plunge Pore Mask, and that is also from the Balance range. So this is 90 mils, and again, it sells exclusively on Boots in the UK for £27. So this one says, take the plunge for smaller pores instantly. Who doesn't want smaller pores? Deeply purify and diminish pores with an exhilarating chill. Inspired by the cold plunge part of a Scandinavian sauna cycle, this cooling clay mask detoxifies, controls oils and reduces the look of pores. The innovative formula harnesses the power of alpine willow herb and snow lotus, antioxidant rich botanicals that have adapted to thrive in the extreme cold to soothe, mattify and refine pores. Add cool water and the turquoise clay mask thaws into a luxurious lava that sweeps away excess oil and impurities. With AHA and BHA, the mask unveils dramatically improved texture, balance is restored as green fusion complex and neem seed oil help replenish the skin and you are going to see a refreshed, refined and purified Olay Glow keep hearing about that glow so it sounds like this is definitely geared towards more oily prone skins apply an even layer to a clean dry face and leave on for 15 minutes add cool water to lava and rinse off so am i dry yet yes so i'm gonna go for it i did have very oily skin before i started using Halo Beauty supplements. I use the Beauty Booster and my skin honestly produces dramatically less oil. So this isn't maybe as appropriate for my skin type as it might have been in the past, but those benefits sounded like something I wanted. How Instagrammable is this mask, everyone? Do you know what I mean? Me and my brother did actually do an Instagram selfie with this mask on. If you want to look, it's on my Instagram at Make Everyday Looks. It does have a really, really nice cooling feel. Maybe not the best in winter, but it is a very refreshing. So I think I'm pretty even. And this is how I look. Let's hope the postman doesn't come and I will be back in 10 to 15 minutes to reveal the Olay Glow. See you in the future. And I'm back. Full disclosure, I've had this mask on for about half an hour rather than the recommended 10 to 15 minutes. I know they reckon you're not supposed to let a clay mask dry fully on the skin but I like it to dry fully on the skin. I feel like you get the most extraction from your pores if you let the mask fully dry and I think especially for someone like me whose skin does lean oily rather than dry as long as I pack on the moisture after I'm okay with that. You obviously do whatever works best for your skin but now I will use some of the cool water to try and find out this um, lava that they're talking about. Oh my gosh, that sensation is so nice. The cooling sensation lasts for the entire time that you're wearing the mask and it does feel really pleasant and refreshing. Again, I'm not sure what chemicals give that cooling sensation or if they have any benefit to our skin but as far as a sensory experience goes, it's lovely. As I am trying to lave this mask up, which is probably made more difficult by the fact I left it on for twice as long as recommended, the lovely mentholy eucalyptus -y aroma is being released. I mean, these products really do give kind of spa vibes at home with the warming and cooling sensations and the lovely fragrances. Turn it into a smurf. Okay, so I haven't got much of a lava going, but then I didn't use the mask as directed. 
sorry, I should have done that for you guys today. It's the least I could do. And now when I get my flannel involved, it's kind of coming straight off. Have you used this mask as directed? Does it turn for me? It's rinsing away pretty easily though with a flannel that I'm getting rather messy. And my skin is looking remarkably clean. Do I have the Ole Glow? Not sure as yet. Let's have a look at these pores. Yeah. I think my pores are looking smaller. I'm going to go to the basin, wash the rest of this off, and I will be right back. Truth Serum is maybe one of the more iconic products from the range has recently launched another serum in the Truth range called the Banana Bright Serum. I'm interested in this. Please, in the comments, let me know if you have tried it. I've used this Truth Serum for many years. I really, really like it. As do a lot of people, it's a bit of a cult product. It has a rating of four stars on the website. Here's how it looks, as you can see it has an orange colour and you can see that runny consistency. The scent smells like juicy oranges, kind of like orange sweets maybe. It does smell a bit artificial but mm, I like it. It does feel a little bit tacky at first going on the skin but it does sink in given enough time and doesn't leave. A sticky feeling but I wouldn't use this if you're in a hurry. It is £42 for the 30ml size and it is said to be like a daily multivitamin for the skin. Ola Hendrickson was an early adopter of vitamin C in skincare believing that its antioxidant properties and role in promoting collagen make it a crucial ingredient. Supercharged with true C complex and boosted with collagen, this powerful age defying serum helps brighten and firm and delivers all day hydration. Enriched with orange and green tea extracts, this fast absorbing oil free formula revives the complexion. Indulge in this facial serum, sweet, energizing, citrus scent and silky texture as it glides beautifully on the skin. The result? You see a healthier, more youthful looking Ole Glow. Definitely a little bit. I will say. Um, I think it's important for people to know, I only learned this recently, the collagen in here is derived from animal products, so it's not a vegan serum. For this reason, I won't be repurchasing. I'm not a vegan, um, I do eat free range meat, however, the idea of animal products in my skincare, it's just not my favourite really. Just putting that out there um, for people that are interested in that side of things. But if you want collagen in your skincare, collagen does come from animals, there's not really a reliable vegan collagen that's that effective, so that's what it is if you want that collagen inside your skincare products. The Banana Bright Eye Cream is another one of the brands exceptionally popular products. It looks like this. This is um, a mini size. This is seven mils. I got this in a gift set and the full size is 15 mils which costs £28 and it's available from Boots. I don't have any shares in Boots. It's just the only place where you can get it in this country. So I'm tapping in with my ring finger and I'm not sure if you can see a difference on camera, probably not, but it does have a yellow colour to it and a very, very, very tiny shimmer, which is meant to give a bit of an instant improvement in appearance to dark circles in the under eye area. This is what it looks like. Again, you can't see, but there is a very faint 
tint to it. Don't want to waste that, so I'll scoop it back for my other eye. Again, as well as the short term brightening, it does have vitamin C in it for a long term effect. Now, this has a four star rating on the Boots website and it says, Wake up before you make up. Banana Bright Eye Cream brightens, instantly targets fine lines and wrinkles, and reduces the look of dark circles, delivering age defying results. Again, collagen boosted it firms and deeply hydrates as it feels deliciously lightweight formulated with powerful vitamin c it helps to revive and illuminate the eye area over time inspired by the makeup artist must have banana powder this subtly sunny cream contains special pigments to instantly brighten and color correct the eye area but that's not all it creates a smooth well-rested canvas and improves concealer wear Dark circles diminished, crow's feet conquered. Now go conquer the day with your refreshed, revived Ole Glow. It has the same smell as the Truth Serum. Bit of a cult product there. Truth Sea Rush Brightening Gel Cream. Now, I really, really like this. It gives the skin a bit of an instant glow. I can definitely vouch for the Ole Glow for this one. It's a really kind of lightweight gel formula, particularly nice in the summer. It feels cooling as it goes on and it smells like sweets. It smells like orange sweeties. Oh, again, everything feels so nice going on. Really smooth application, and you'll be able to see, I think, already a bit of an instant glow. Really, really nice. 50 mils is 36 pounds from Boots. This again has a five star rating, and it says experience the 24 hour rush of moisture you can see, as in vitamin C, lol. The daily effects of stress, fatigue and pollution can leave skin looking dry and dull. Fight back with Sea Rush Brightening Gel Cream. This innovative peachy tinted gel cream instantly illuminates and delivers an energizing burst of 24 hour hydration. It targets fine lines and wrinkles, renews youthful skin and firm skin but that's not all. It improves makeup application, creating a smooth, hydrated canvas for foundation and concealer. Sea Rush Brightening Gel Cream is powered by a combination of three sources of vitamin C, chosen specifically for their efficacy in skincare. So it's got ascorbic acid, which is pure vitamin C, and 3-O-ethyl ascorbic acid, and Textra Hexidesyl sorbate. Together this vitamin C trio helps C Rush deliver proven age fighting benefits and formulated with rose of winter extract and antioxidant rich flower from Jeju Island in Korea. Known for its resilience this ultra lightweight gel cream nourishes and conditions the skin. Meet your new main squeeze as you reveal a soft and supple crush worthy Ole Glow. I didn't know that gel cream was actually tinted that's interesting yeah it also comes in a double cream version with sheer butter which i'm guessing is like a heavier version of this which is maybe more winter appropriate and this one's maybe more summer appropriate if you've tried the heavier cream version please let me know your experience in the comments because i'm nosy now i do think that my skin is starting to glow but last but not least i'm going to show you the ola henriksen again from the truth range the banana bright face primer so i've just got the mini size of this primer 15 mils this sells for 15 pounds from boots you can also buy a larger size for 28 pounds which is 30 mils this again has a 
Scotch over a four star rating and it's inspired by the best selling Banana Bright eye cream. This primer creates a dewy healthy looking glow whether it's applied under makeup on top as a highlighter or even one alone. It also smooths skin and improves the look of fine lines and wrinkles for a perfected canvas for your Ole Glow. A vitamin C illuminating face primer with banana powder inspired ingredients that delivers instant radiance while improving and extending makeup wear. Can be worn alone under makeup as a highlight bit of a skincare makeup hybrid I would say because it's got that vitamin C in there as well looks like this orange in tone and I'm going to see how much of an Olay glow I can build up today it has the same smell as other products feels smooth going on, smells delicious, you can see that it is very illuminating and I have used this before, I can confirm that makeup does go nicely on top. It's not a pore filling primer, it's not like dimethicone, it's more of a creamy consistency, it's got very very tiny shimmers so it doesn't look chunky on the skin, but it gives that kind of an ever so slightly frosty sheen. So it gives a really, really dewy look to the skin. So there we have it. So I am a fan of the brand. I first discovered it in Debenhams and became a bit obsessed with it. And I followed it to Boots. They're kind of a mid-range price of products that are effective and pleasant to use. Do you think I've got the Ole Glow? I want to know what you guys think about the range Ulla Hendrickson. Are there any products that I haven't shown you today that you would recommend? Have you tried the ones I have shown you? Did you like them? Did you not like them? Sound off down below in the comments and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye guys. I'm glowing. <laughs>